Once upon a time, there was an old man and his old wife living in a country in Japan. The old man was a woodcutter. He and his wife were very sad and lonely because they had no children. One day, the old man went into the mountains to cut firewood, and the old woman went to the river to wash some clothes. No sooner had the old woman begun her washing than she was very surprised to see the big fish come floating down the river. It was the biggest fish she ever seen in all her life. She pulled the fish out of the river and decided to take it home and give it to the old man for his supper that night. Late in the afternoon, the old man came home, and the woman said to him, "Look what a wonderful fish I found for your supper." The old man said it was truly a beautiful peach. He was so hungry that he said, "Let's divide it and eat it right away." So the old woman brought a big knife from the kitchen and was getting ready to cut the peach in half. But just then, that was a human voice from inside the peach. Wait! Don't cut me," said the voice. Suddenly, the peach split open, and a beautiful baby boy jumped out of the peach. The old man and woman were astounded, but the baby said, "Don't be afraid." The God of Heaven saw how lonely you were without any children, so He sent me here to be your son. The old man and woman were very happy, and they took the baby to be their son. Since he was born from a peach, they named him Momotaro, which means peach boy. They loved Momotaro very much and raised him to be a fine boy. When Momotaro was about 15 years old, he went to his father and said, "Father, you have always been very kind to me, but I am a big boy now, and I must do something to help my country. In a distant part of the sea, there is an island named." Ogre Island, where many wicked ogres live, and they often come to our land and do horrible things, like carrying people away and stealing their things. So, I am destined to go to Ogre Island to fight them and bring back the treasure which they have there. Please let me do this. The old man was surprised to hear this, but he was also very proud of Momotaro for wanting to help other people. So he and the old woman helped Momotaro get ready for his journey to Arger Island. The old man gave him a sword and armor, and the old woman fixed him a good lunch of millet dumplings. Then Momotaro began his journey. Promising his parents that he would come back soon. Momotaro went walking toward the sea. It was a long way. As he went along, he met a spotted dog. The dog growled at Momotaro and was about to bite him, but then Momotaro gave him one of his dumplings. He told the spotted dog that he was going to fight the ogres on Ogre Island. So the dog said he would go along too, and help Momotaro. Momotaro and the spotted dog kept on walking, and soon they met a monkey. The spotted dog and the monkey started to have a fight, but Momotaro explained to the monkey that he and the spotted dog were going to fight the ogres on Orca Island. Then the monkey asked if he could go with them. So Momotaro gave the monkey a dumpling, and let the monkey come with them. 
Momotaro and the spotted dog and the monkey came on walking. Suddenly, they met a pheasant. The spotted dog and the monkey and the pheasant were about to start fighting. But when the pheasant heard that Momotaro was going to fight the ogres on Orca Island, he asked if he could go too. So Momotaro gave the pheasant a dumpling and told him to come along. With Momotaro as a general, the spotted dog, the monkey, and the pheasant, who usually hated each other, all became good friends and followed Momotaro faithfully. They walked a long, long way and finally reached the sea. At the edge of the sea, Momotaro built a boat. They all got in the boat and started across the sea toward Orca Island. When they came within inside the island, they could see that the ogres had a very strong fort there. And there were many, many ogres. Some of them were red, some were blue, and some were black. First, the pheasant flew over the walls of the fort and began to peck at the ogres' heads. They all tried to hit the pheasant with their clubs. But he was very quick and dashed out their blows. And while the ogres weren't looking, the monkey slipped up and opened the gate of the fort. Then Momotaro and the spotted dog rushed into the fort and started fighting the ogres too. It was a terrible battle. The pheasant pecked at the heads and eyes of the wicked ogres and the monkey crawled them, and the spotted dog bit them, and Momotaro cut them with his sword. At last, the ogres were completely defeated. They all bowed down low before Momotaro and promised never to do wicked things again. Then, they brought Momotaro out the treasure they had stored in the fort. It was the most wonderful treasure you can imagine. There was much gold, silver, and many precious jewels. There was an invisible coat, hat, and a hammer that made a piece of gold every time you hit it on the ground, and many other wonderful things. Momo Taro and his three helpers carried all this in the boat back to the land. Then. They made a cart and put all the treasure in the cart and pulled it back to Momotaro's house. How happy the old man and woman were when they saw their son return safely from the Orca Island. They were very rich now with all the treasure that Momotaro had brought back. And now they all live together very, very happily.